In this video, we're going to take a look at semi-log graphs. So plot the function y equals 3 to the x, both on an ordinary axis as well as a semi-log axis. Now the axis on your left is an ordinary axis, whereas the axis on your right here is a semi-log axis. In a semi-logarithmic graph, one axis has a logarithmic scale and the other axis has a linear scale. So this here is a semi-log graph on my right hand side. The x-axis here is a linear scale, whereas the y-axis here is a logarithmic scale, hence the name semi-log graph. So the idea is that we can more easily see details for the small values of y as well as the large values of y, and it also saves you from having to convert your data to logs before plotting, which reduces the chances of making a mistake. Now also notice that there's no zero on a logarithmic scale. So I want you to now pause the video and try to plot this function 3 to the x both on the regular scale here as well as the semi-log axes right over here. Now the easiest way to do this is to probably make a table of values for both x and y, plot one on the original axes right over here, plot the other on the semi-log axes right over here, and see what you obtain. Okay. So our function is y equals 3 to the x. And if we were to make a table of values starting with an x value of 0, what would y equal? Well, we're just going to substitute 0 in for your value of x. 3 to the 0 gives us 1. Now do 3 to the 1. So when x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 9. And so on and so forth. When x is 3, y is 27, when x is 4, y is 81, when x is 5, y is 243, when x is 6, y is 729, when x is 7, y is 2189. So you can see as x gets larger, y gets drastically larger. So let's try plotting this on the ordinary axes. So when x is 0 here, y is equal to 1. So on my ordinary axes, when x is 0, y is equal to 1 is roughly over here. Then when x is 1, y is equal to 3. It's just slightly larger. When x is 2, y is equal to 9, gradually getting larger. When x is 3, y is 27. When x is 4, y is 81. x is 5, y is 243. So we're starting to get a little bit larger here. When x is 6, now y is 729. So an x value of 6, we go up to 729. When x is 7, y is equal to 2189. And so we get a rough idea here what's happening. There's the plot of y equals 3 to the x on the ordinary axes. Now if you take a look at your semi-log axes, again you'll notice that the x-axis is ordinary linear axes, whereas the y-axis here is a logarithmic axis. So for example, you'll notice that the jump from 1 to 2 is very different than the jump from 9 to 10. And this is a semi-log axis, so keep that in mind. So let's start plotting this function of 3 to the x on the semi-log axis. Now again, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 9. Now when x is equal to 3, y is 27. x is 4, y is 81. When x is 5, y is 243. When x is 6, y is 729. So you'll notice on the semi-log graph, the function y equals 3 to the x actually looks linear.